everyone to be Kim here with my my good buddies uh, walking around old Silverdale again old town rather and uh, Brett's with me and Katie's with me Katie and Joe and Joe is behind the camera and we have Cash Cash is with us again you've met this crew before and uh, here we are just kind of doing it again and I think well, I'll turn it over to you today because uh, what I saw you do was run from your house all the way to the school, yeah. sweat pouring off of you by the time you got me, and you're still walking with me. Yeah. You still got me. This is cool. So, what's your story? So, um, one thing that I want to tell everybody today was that, you know, I want to talk about the power of motivation because little you know that, you know, you're, you're taking that first step is really contagious to other people as well because by you taking the initiative and going out and doing something, it entices others to do the same. So in this case, I probably wouldn't have stopped my work day, you know, and like gone out and got some sun, got some rays, got some vitamin D, got an exercise, had it not been for you. So you are, you know, a huge, very, very motivational to me. And perfect example, you know, also getting out to walk the dog, you know, he ran with me, but this is really awesome because we're now kind of enjoying a different scenery, being that the track was, you know, all filled, but you know, this is one thing that, you know, get out there, do it, tell others about it, and people will join in and you get excited about it. We're kind of maneuvering here, and Joe's doing a really good job, but you know, that's pretty much it. I want, I want everybody just to, you know, the first step to the first step is standing up tall, and that's really what it is. So it's been great to just be, oh, we got a little lifting thing going on. Hope you didn't catch that. All right, good. Oh, it's all natural. Uh, anyway. Good. Um, so the same thing with me, you know, I really am super duper busy uh, uh, right now because of our big event coming up, the Age Walk, agewalkkitsap.org, we need some support by, by the way. But, um, so my head is really into making sure that that's going to be successful and kind of taking time out of my day to come out and do this is, is not easy, to be honest with you, because uh, some of these days are 10, 12 hour days uh, with that and everything else that we're doing at the, at the foundation. So. But uh, it just feels good to do this. It just, it just feels good. Yeah. Um, I missed one day. I didn't feel like walking. My body wasn't up for it. Didn't feel like doing anything. But uh, the next day, I was like missing it. Like wow, it's exciting. <laughs> missing it. So um, it's just good to be back out here. And again, we live in such a great, great place. Yeah. Pacific Northwest. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to recruit y'all because we got enough people out here. Who can <laughs> come visit and go home. But uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. So, you know, how can you not want to be out here and just chalking it up, right? That's right. Yeah. Nice. We're just walking in circles around the park, so we just keep going that way. And you got your GPS on? I, I do. And I don't know if uh, you've been telling people, but, it, you know, obviously, yeah. she's hit the two mile mark. Where are we going to go? It doesn't matter. You know? We're wandering. No, I'm trying to follow Joe. No. <laughs> We're wandering. We're, We're following like, Joe. I'm trying to follow Wait, the camera. Yeah, yeah, follow the guys going backwards. backwards. Joe's walking backwards. <laughs> follow the blind man. <laughs> so, you know what? I think it's just so exciting to see that Kim's, the other night, she shot me a text that like literally made my week. Uh, that I did two miles today. Like, that's. That's so ridiculous because she couldn't do two laps a month ago. Yeah, no, it was pretty. I made myself too. I wanted to stop at a mile because that's kind of what we had been doing. So we felt real comfortable. And then something in my head just said, that's dumb. You can do another quarter mile. Then another quarter mile. I'm like, oh, you can do two more of these. And then on that last one, I was like, I can do one more of these. And then it got too dark, um, which was good because. It was a night rider. It, it got a little dark because. Uh, it was good because I probably would have tried to push myself a little too much on that day. So yeah. I'm pretty motivated. But um, yeah, I got this GPS tracker thing and it failed me. I don't want to hold it too much, but it failed me the other day. So it didn't track all my walking. I was kind of upset about that. But I'm going to put it back in my pocket. But anybody who wants to join me uh, on this, send me a note. A lot of you guys are talking to me about wanting to join and get involved. Uh, and post, uh, post your activities, all that kind of stuff. So uh, this is another tool we can use. It's just another tool we can use so, to, to friend each other, support each other, and what have you. And for those of you who are too big, you don't fall. Good things. Good things. We're good. Gonna, We're good. Good things. 
Always. It's kind of gently oh, pushing this. That's a beautiful thing. Um, but those of you not too big, you know, that's what you're doing. We set up the food diaries. You can tell us you don't have to take videos and all like I do, but just go and make those when you have for the day. You know, that's why that's there. We set up the workout, workout diaries. So if you just walk to the mailbox and back, tell us you did that. Um, I know I'm not alone. I got Brett, Joe, Katie, Cassius, a bunch of people. But I got a whole bunch of folks out there that are hitting me up privately. I'm too big, but I'm not seeing you doing anything with me. I'm feeling lonely. Feeling lonely. So um, that's about it. We're just going to keep on walking. And we're going to talk about something else. We'll probably just cut off the camera now. But uh, we'll just yep. keep going. Thank Thanks, you. Joe.